that Media General, that Onua FM is a part of, is managed by um, reputable people. We know some of the people on the board um, of directors of Media General. And so first of all, we are appealing to their conscience. And I know that I'm quite convinced that an action will be taken because this is something that is just below the belt. And <coughs> knowing the people that I know on the board and management of Onua FM, I think it would be quite surprising that they allow this to pass without any action. It would be very negligent on our part to look at things that could undermine press freedom and be quiet about it and only speak up when violations occur. So there are laws. I mean, the frequencies that have been given belong to the state. At any point in time, frequencies can be taken back. We do know that not too long ago, some four stations were shut down in Boku. Boku is part of Ghana. There are also FM stations. And so when people go overboard, um, the laws can be applied. You can be taken to court for defamation, and you have to defend yourself. If you go about, I mean, you, you breach the laws outrightly, your frequency can be taken back. And I don't think that we would at any point in time say, oh, anything goes. And so when frequencies are taken back, we say, oh, why are frequencies taken back? When your conduct is dangerous for the state, conduct, your conduct undermines our stability, our peace, and our democracy, I don't think that we, it's something that we would um, um, tolerate.